So as Tom said, we're going to go through and we're going to go through and snip off my leaves and I'm leaving a little bit of the stem on here for a handle. Hmm. I'll end up with with this and again I'll pass around the, the cherry. You can see the buds are pretty well well developed. That's kind of what I'm looking for there. The apples, I didn't think they were quite as good, but it's kind of what I could find in the rain. Okay, so I've got these sitting in my in my cooler for for use. Um, basically I kept the whole the whole um, branch uh, in the cooler. As I'm going out to do my grafting, I'm going to get rid of the top third, I'm going to get rid of the bottom third, and I'm just selecting buds from the middle uh, section. The top section likely the buds aren't going to be well mature, the bottom buds are going to be a little too vigorous I believe. Uh, so I'm looking for the middle buds here. Moving it up, I have to cut myself. Uh, okay, so now I've got my, my grafting knife. Again, I like my razor blade. I, but you just gotta kind of play around and see what really works for you. So I'm gonna take the knife and I'm gonna set it in on my tree below my bud. So we're gonna cut out this whole bud section. We're gonna set it in and we're gonna do about a 45 degree cut right below the bud. So then I'm gonna take my knife on top here oh. and I'm gonna slice down and cut out my bud and this is where I kind of struggle with is it's I'm not doing it a nice clean smooth fluid cut you know I'm kind of going kind of slowly and really you want a nice clean smooth cut you don't want to be sitting here hacking away sawing you want to be going ah, that's not right you know you want nice clean smooth cut so it takes quite a bit of practice here so but now I've got my bud cut out I've got my little handle here because I kept my bud in place and so now I set this just aside real quickly and I'd say okay now I'm going to go over to my root stop that I want to graft my butt on and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to cut in at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to go on top of the bud and do a nice clean cut. Man I kind of missed a little bit. Alright that one we're just going to throw that one away. <laughs> Alright so now I'm going to take my bud and I'm going to set it kind of back on top. So as I'm making that 45 degree angle, we, uh, we've got a little bit of a shelf there for this bud to sit on. So I'm going to set that bud right back kind of in that shelf. And you notice, you know, it actually fairly well lines up. So the top of the bud lines up, the bottom of the bud lines up on the shelf, side to side lines up. And really what I'm trying to do is match that outside cambium layer you know the the greenness layer right underneath the bark I want to mash that up because that's what's going to grow together and heal so now that I've got this mashed up I'm going to pull me one of those off just one uh, strip will do okay a little easier to do when your stick isn't moving all over the place so I'm going to take my wax and I'm going to pull it fairly tight wrapping around the bud making sure I'm keeping everything nice and aligned but I'm not covering the bud up we want to leave that bud open all right so now we've got that basically sealed up in place got it. wrapping wasn't perfect you can see I'm covering up the bud a little bit on this side but that's you know the end result of what it should look like mm -hmm. um, by the time you go and cut your scion bud out to the time you get it in place you're really looking at minutes you know the faster you can do it the less chance that this bud hat will dry out the better chance that it's going to the graft is going to take 